Welcome. This is an unboxing and first impressions of the Xiaomi Mi Band 4. Now, this guy has been out for a little while now. It came out at the end of June, but here in the US, I was just able to get my hands on it because it had to ship over from China. So this is actually the global or international version of the Mi Band 4. There's also a Chinese version. This version does not have NFC payment functions, and it also supports more languages than the Chinese version. So this is another fitness tracker, and it has specs and features similar, if not better, to the Samsung Galaxy Fit, but at a third of the price. I paid $35 for this. Depending on where you live, you could probably get this cheaper. It's a little dicey here in the US on Amazon right now. There's just a bunch of different sellers selling the Mi Band 4. They're just bringing it over from China and reselling it. So you may not get the best price there, but I'll do my best to keep up to date links on it in the description. So I've received, I don't know, maybe hundreds of comments on the Mi Band 4 and how it is better than the Galaxy Fit and that I needed to check it out. So we now have it here. It is time to check it out. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Upside down. All right, we'll check that out in a second. Let's see other things we get in the box here. Okay, so here is our charger. This looks like a cradle type of charger. Place your device inside of here to charge it up. Kind of a defined base here, but the material isn't that much different than the siding. So it's not like super grippy or anything. And it is a short cable. It's a length very similar to the Galaxy Fit E. Very short cable, just something to keep in mind. This is the Galaxy Fit cable. I can't even fit it in the frame here. I'm guessing it's about three feet long, but yeah, there you go, start finish and you have your USB A to plug into a wall outlet or into a portable charger. This is very interesting boxing. Okay, and we have a very thick instruction manual. I'm sure it's in plenty of different languages with it being the global version. We will skip that for now. And I almost forgot you guys like this flipped over to see the device better with it being a black device. So here we go. All right, let's check out the Mi Band 4. Okay, so straight out of the box, I can see that the band is a bit more on the gray side than the black of the Galaxy Fit, as you can see on my wrist here. Not sure with the lighting here, this video, if you can see that difference, but there you go. Do a comparison here quickly. So not too much different, it is just ever so slightly larger than the Galaxy Fit in terms of the device itself, the size of the device. The screen goes from about here to here, so here to here, and there is some bezel action going on on the top and bottom of the device. Looks like we can't really get a full screen experience on these fitness trackers. Now the Mi Band 4 is similar to the Galaxy Fit E, in regard to the band surrounding the device. So you can pop this guy out of the band itself. So there you go, there's your device itself just on its own. And like I just said, you can do the same with the Fit E. But with the Galaxy Fit, it does not wrap around the device. As you can see, that is all device right there on the sidings. And you have your two separate band straps and with these, you have a entire band. All right, so we're getting through pairing the device here. See if we can up that screen brightness there. You guys can see it better, but we're just going through a few prompts here as we set it up. So it's saying that the band will be locked when it's taken off of your wrist. There are six sport modes with the Mi Band 4, probably similar to the sport modes on the Galaxy Fit. And a huge feature of the Mi Band 4, this has music control features, which the Galaxy Fit, again, does not have. And that is a huge downside to the Galaxy Fit. It just seems like something pretty simple to have on the device. Looks like we already have some updates for the Mi Band 4. Okay, so we are finally paired up. We now have the device up and running. So let's lose the Galaxy Fit and throw on the Mi Band 4. So I'm not sure if Raised Awake is here on the Mi Band 4 just yet, 
but initially out of the box, I am not seeing it like on the Galaxy Fit. Now in terms of screen brightness, from the naked eye, it does look to have similar screen brightness. When you are navigating through your screens, you're going to be scrolling up and down. If you go to the left or right, it'll initiate the music controls. So up and down is going to get you through your different interfaces. Tap again on these to engage in more things. So under the more screen, we have do not disturb, alarm, music controls, stopwatch, timer, find device, silencer, display settings, and additional settings. And then we also have our notifications here if we have any. You will get your weather here. It looks like it's currently in Celsius. I'll have to change that to Fahrenheit. You have your six different workouts you can enable. And if you want to test your heart rate, you can go ahead and tap that and it'll start to monitor it for you. And status with your steps, distance, and calories, obviously none, we just put it on. But it is worth mentioning that you do have to make that additional tap to get into these various interfaces opposed to the Galaxy Fit where you can very easily just scroll over and okay, there are my stats so far for the day and other information is very easily accessible. So your sleep time and your weather and the stopwatch and timer right away if you want it and notifications right there right on the screen. Now, one thing I am super excited to test out is that there is an advertised 20 days of battery life on this device. It still has an AMOLED screen. It's about the same size screen and same brightness of the Galaxy Fit. I definitely need some time to play around with it and get a little more familiar with it. But first impressions for a third of the price of the Galaxy Fit, I'm extremely impressed with this device. I'm looking forward to exclusively using it here for the next week or so, which I will then bring out a review on the Mi Band 4. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the Shane Simons YouTube channel today. Thanks for watching. Take care.